but we love uh, we love uh, Llama 3 and the local models as well. And I oh, wanted cool. to show you something maybe on my computer. Yes, please. Yeah, cool. I'll do the share screen, entire screen. All right. Okay. Have you already played around with the uh, with the local LLM, Jackie? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. It's really nice. So I'm going to show you here how we do it. So once you install the Olama, and Olama is actually a very easy to, to install. I'm going to close everything. But what you basically need to do is you just go to Olama, olama.com. And are you on Mac or, or Windows? Mac. So you just go and download. Ah, so for Mac. Yeah, that can work. It will be a bit slower. But you just download uh, the Mac version. You install it on your computer and once you install it, it will give you a, a local IP address for you to ping Olama and interact with the Olama API. And then Olama is kind of um, a, an interface to use any local LLM. And then you can download some models like Llama 3.1, Llama 3.2, Gemma. There are so many open source free models. And then Artila mm. is able through the Olama API to interact with the AI model, send them prompts, get the answer, take it back, put it wherever you want in a CRM, uh, blog post or anything like that. So once you install Olama, then uh, you just launch it and you, you launch it with the command line and you just do Olama serve. So now it launches Olama as a server. And this is the IP address I was telling you, you see here. Yeah. And then there is a port. So we have already a template that is uh, ready that is called, uh, we called it uh, Artilama. So we have this API bridge command that allows you to almost build your own Zapier inside Artila. Because we have this API command that can connect to any external uh, API, send it uh, queries and get back the answer without paying per task. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's, it, re it gives you more flexibility and shows you, uh, uh, sorry, and reduces the cost. So I'm going to open this project and show you just the basics of it. And then, uh, no, actually, no, I'm going to run it so you can see what it does. And then, and then we can show you how we built it to give you some more ideas. So I created the list, which is a loop with uh, 10 keywords. And I want to use my local AI to create a small SEO description. <clears throat> so I just create this loop with the 30 words. I could, I could import a file with thousands if you want. Even here, you can put a thousand lines. It will deal with them. But if you have more than a thousand line, it's better to use the file. So I create this loop. And then I can choose here. Uh, I have a static value where I put the name of the model. And I have a few, mo few models I installed here, Gemma, Lama 3. 0.1, Lama 3.2, Mistral, and Phi. So I can experiment with different AI models and, and depending on the task and the prompt, you get different results. So I'm using Lama 3.2, which was just released last week by, uh, by Facebook and it's, it's very powerful and it's fast. And then here is your prompt. So the prompt is create a 50 words definition of this keyword. And then here I call the current value of the list. So, so uh, if you saw, we can use this curly bracket, curly bracket, uh, the name of the, of the variable, and then curly bracket close. And I just want the description without any comment or explanation. So this is like what we call the configuration folder, so that it's easy for the user to change the prompt and change the model and change whatever you want to send with the prompt. And then what we do is that this is the command I told you, the API bridge. It's almost like... Um, uh, how you call it that that tool uh, honore that you use to to test apis the postman postman something postman, yeah yeah. Postman. yeah so it's almost like a kind of a postman but is that you include in your flow and you put the endpoint so in our case this is the olama local local uh, address on my computer and then we call the slash api slash generate endpoint via post there is no authentication and then here the model, we grab it from our variable called model name and the prompt, we grab it from the prompt. So you don't need to touch this as a user when you download the template because you just have to 
configure the configuration folder. And what we do is that we send this uh, through the API to the local AI, and then we are grabbing the response back from the API. We're grabbing the response uh, JSON uh, value, and then we use this alert. This alert command will just display stuff on the screen as a pop-up. So I'm just displaying the current value of response of the response variable. And then I want to extract the results and I extract the results here. First, I, I want to save the keyword that was sent. So I just save the default value from the list, the current value from the list. And here I get the current value uh, response that comes back from, uh, from, uh, from uh, the uh, API. Oh, I hear myself. <laughs> Sorry if I go fast, but let's run it and, and, and see how it goes. Okay. So right now it's already querying the local API. And if I put here, you can see that there is a query. The fir first it's, it's uh, handshaking and starting the API. I'm gonna make more. And you see, I got the response here. I got the response. So we have digital advertising refers to the promotion of products. That was the first keyword. Now I just say, OK, it's going to send this next prompt. Then we got the description. Next prompt. We got the description. You see, it's super fast. And I, we don't have to pay uh, anyone. We don't pay to open AI per query. We don't pay to Zapier. And we can do thousands here. It's like going slow because I, I have this alert I need to I get it out manually, but once you're comfortable, you can remove the alert and then it, it goes uh, very fast. So now it's finished and you can see here the logs and you can see that every query took less than one second to get the response from uh, Lama 3.2, which is quite good for, uh, uh, let me show you. Do you see here my, my screen, uh, my computer? Uh -huh. So Lama 3 yeah. is running on this graphic card which is an RTX 3090. I think in the US you can get it for $300, this graphic card. And you can run your AI locally. <laughs> That's awesome. So now I can go uh, back to Artila and look at the results. And I have my 10 keywords. And you can see here, these are our keywords. So I'm gonna reduce this. So we have keywords and description, but you can do the same by creating a blog, a whole blog articles of 500 words and you give it to the local AI and maybe you can process thousands of, and thousands per day. So that's, uh, that's one way. And sorry, I don't see you guys anymore, but do you still hear me? Yes. Okay, cool. I want also to show you if I remove the alert message, I don't want the alert. I just wanted to do the automation fast i save and now if i launch it again uh, sorry i'm going to show you two things i'm going to show you uh, the gpu being used and the queries sorry let's do that here let's run it i'm going to put the window here the gpu here you see my GPU is running right now. This is Artila uh, querying to the API and it's already finished. So it did the 10 questions already. Now it's finished. It took, it took uh, 13 seconds. So like almost a second per question. Wow. 